एवरी वन विवेक ही ऑफ इन प्रिंसिपी या मैथमेटिका न्यूटन डेल्ट एक्सटेंसिवली विद वैक्टर इंटिटीज लाइक वेलासिटी फोर्स एंड एसलोरेशन बट नेवर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वैक्टर लाइक रिजल्टेंट डॉट प्रोडक्ट एंड क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट नो वन न्यू अबाउट द वैक्टर्स एट दैट टाइम इन एटीन ओ फाइव अर्गेंट हैड सोन अ करस्पॉन्डेंस बिटवीन कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स एंड पॉइंट्स ऑन अ प्लेन वन ऑफ हिज कंट्रीब्यूशन वॉज टू सो दैट मल्टीप्लीकेशन बाई अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर करस्पॉन्डेड टू अ रोटेशन ऑफ पॉइंट्स इन अ प्लेन हियर जेड वन इज रोटेटेड अबाउट ओरिजिन बाई एन एंगल थीटा विलियम हेमिल्टन एंड आयरिस मैथमेटिशियन वॉज लुकिंग फॉर अ थ्री डायमेंशनल एनालॉग टू दिस टू बी एबल टू रिप्रेजेंट रोटेशन बाई मल्टीप्लीकेशन like how to rotate a point in three dimensional space with the help of multiplication only after a long search he discovered quaternions numbers of this form maxwell a scottish mathematician and scientist was working on putting together the mathematics of electromagnetism combining the experimental and theoretical results of gauss ampere faraday and others before him in doing so he needed to deal with the rotation and other operation in three dimensional space so he used hamilton quaternions as a framework this reduced the number of equation he needed to deal with but it was still messy while people generally talk of maxwell equation as a set of four equation but in his original formulation it was at least 12 Vectors evolved over time but probably the biggest contribution to making them a success was Josiah Billard Gibbs an American scientist and Oliver Heaviside an English mathematician and physicist in the late 1800 both were abstracting of the ideas of James Maxwell and William Hamilton Heaviside and Gibbs independently developed roughly the same formalism to encapsulate working with vectors giving us now familiar resultants dot product cross product and so on now let's discuss what can we do with the vectors what is the magnitude of vector what does it mean how to find it suppose we have a vector a then this length is ax and this length is ay magnitude of vector a is this length that is square root of ax square plus ay square and tan theta is ay by ax theta is the angle between vector a and the positive x axis suppose we have two vectors we place the tail of one vector on the head of other then the resultant vector will be a vector joining the tail of vector a to the head of vector b if we put the tail of vector c on the head of the resultant vector then this will be our new resultant vector this is the triangle law of vector addition If we join the tail of these two vectors, then to find the resultant of it, draw a parallelogram like this. Then the resultant vector will be the diagonal of parallelogram. Put the tail of vector C over the tail of resultant vector, then this will be our new resultant vector. If we keep on adding vectors like this, then this method is the parallelogram law of vector addition. Let's find out the magnitude of resultant vector mathematically. Suppose we have two vectors a and b. Resultant will be the sum of vector a and b. The magnitude of resultant vector will be the square root of ax plus bx square plus ay plus by square plus ag plus bg square. Angle between resultant and vector a can be derived from the dot product. There is another way of finding the magnitude of the resultant vector. Add the vectors like this and slide the vector b over here. The angle between a and b is theta. Then this length will be a plus b cos theta, and this length will be b sin theta. If we just draw the geometry, it looks like this. The magnitude of the resultant vector will be the square root of a plus b cos theta square plus b sin theta square. We can calculate the angle alpha from here. Now we will discuss projection of vectors. Let's say we have two vectors a and b. We want to calculate the projection of vector a along vector b. The angle between these two vectors is theta. Put the light above not randomly but in such a way that rays are coming perpendicular to the vector b. Then the shadow of vector a will form on vector b. From the right angle triangle ONM we can calculate the length of shadow ON that is a cos theta. So magnitude or length of projection of vector a along vector b is a cos theta. Projection of vector a along vector b is 
magnitude of projection multiplied by unit vector in the direction of projection. Here B cap is the unit vector in direction of projection. There are few real life examples that draw my attention and I usually relate that with the projection of vectors. Suppose you are on the car and your friend is driving it with a constant velocity. You throw a ball in a upward direction, you remain at your place in a car and after some time ball just dropped in your hand. What? How can that happen? When you will notice closely, you will realize that when you are just about to throw the ball, the ball had the same speed in the horizontal direction as that of car. So when the ball was in the air, assumes that there is no drag force, I mean air is not opposing the motion of the ball. Its horizontal speed was exactly equal to the car speed. And distance covered by the ball in x direction was always equal to the distance covered by the car. That's why you saw that the ball was always above you. Projection of ball velocity in horizontal direction at any moment is equal to the velocity of car. And also the projection of position vector of ball in horizontal direction at any moment is always the same as position vector of the car. Suppose someday in future, if Tesla started its production in India, you buy the Cybertruck and you are traveling in your city. On some particular day, you had a bad luck. You parked your Cybertruck here and it just started slipping down the slope. Assumes that the slope is frictionless, you are standing there and thinking how to make it stop. What force I should apply on it to make it stop? How to calculate it? In your mind, you are thinking if I take a projection of truck weight along the direction of a slope, then the length of projection will be mg sin theta. I should apply this much of force in opposite direction to make it stop. But it's too late. It just collided with the wall behind. But there is not even a single scratch on your cyber because its skeleton is made up of 300 series stainless steel. Now you apply exactly the same force to pull it up slowly and you finally get your truck. This particle is moving in a circle with a constant angular velocity omega. If you put light here, the shadow of particle is formed on y-axis. Then how to know the position vector of shadow at any moment? Take a projection of vector of particle along y-axis at that moment. That is a sin omega t. This shadow is doing simple harmonic motion on y-axis because y is a sin omega t. In this chapter, you learned about the projection of vector, the origin of vector. And in the next chapter, I will discuss dot product and cross product in detail. Thanks for watching.